some free movies to watch, man. It's called Audacity. You get someone you like, uh, you go on the YouTube, just put on Audacity, it'll pop out for free. Okay. And you can check that out. Uh, and uh, they've got a couple other movies. But those, are, those are more documentaries. Okay. Do you mind me if I ask you three easy questions on your worldview, what you believe in? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's like this. Um, there you go. What's your first name? Trevin. Trevin. Trevin? Yeah. Oh, Trevin. So the question is, is that, you, you, do you believe in a theistic theism God, a personal God, one God, mm -hmm. or do you believe in a pantheism, which is everything's God, everything in the universe is God, or do you believe in atheism, which says there is no God, right? Which which one do you hold to in your worldview? I know, I, like, it's, I know it's a, just a, it's just one God out there. You know? uh -huh. It's not everything. You know? How do you, how do you know that? I mean, how did you get That's, to that conclusion? Because because we got to live our life truthfully, right? Yeah. We could kind of have feelings. We kind of can know. But how did you get to where you go? No, I I, I know that there is only one God, and 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 that it's there. There are a lot of people who believe there's no God, right? I don't know. I just do like my mom believes. You know what I mean? The way she, she raised you up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, think about this. Let me give you a little uh, a little synopsis of it. Uh, uh -huh. If you think about this universe, even the scientists say everything within the universe yeah. came in one time. Time, space, and matter came into existence. Yeah. Either, like the evolutionists say, that the Big Bang did it, right? Yeah. Or if you're a monotheistic, you believe that God said in the beginning, God created time, space, and matter. Boom! Ex nihilo, yeah. right? Yeah. That's, what, that's I think that's where we're at. So now you got this personal God who created the heavens and the earth, but with that comes dignity, worth, and value that me and you have yeah. that an atheist can't hold to. Oh, yeah. Atheist says I'm nothing. I'm just chemicals reacting, bounce, yeah. bouncing off. Whatever I do, is, it doesn't matter if it's wrong or right, right? Yeah. But if you're a theist and if you believe in the Christianity God, then he goes, you got justification as a person. But with that, is that one day, just like the social life that we live in, you have justification that if you do something wrong, yeah. they're going to take you to the justice courts yeah. and they're going to tell you whether you're innocent or guilty, right? Yeah. So if you stand before God Almighty and He's going to judge you on the Ten Commandments, yeah. would you be innocent and guilty? In other words, if He said, I'm going to judge you on lying, taking something that doesn't belong to you, yeah. lusting after another person, yeah. uh, would you be innocent or guilty if he was going to judge you on those three things? Have you ever stole anything? I stole something. Before. Yeah, it could be small too. It yeah. doesn't have to be, you know, kids wearing around pencils, pens. Yeah. Have you ever lied before? I lied before. Yeah, see, so you're, you're where I'm at. Where yeah. we've all, the Bible says all have sinned. Yeah. We've all fallen short of God's glory. Yeah. But this is the point, is that all the other pantheism religions out there, uh -huh. and even atheism, they want to earn their way to get somewhere. They're like, if I do enough good things, I'll get somewhere. Yeah. So sometimes as a, a, theistic, a theistic or theism guy or a Christian guy or a Christian who believes in one God, we start talking about that too. We start saying, oh, if I do enough good things, maybe God will, will treat me better, right? Yeah. But God says, no, you don't get to me by the works. Yeah. My gift I did freely as I hung between heaven and earth. This, if God was the judge and he told you you were guilty because you know you're guilty before yeah. God. And he looks at you and he says, you know what I'm going to do? Tre Tre what's your name? Trevin. Trevin. You yeah. know what I'm going to do? I'm taking off my robe yeah. and I'm going to come and I'm going to give you the money to pay for the fine. Would you take that money? If, you, if the money costed more than you could ever have and you know you'd go to jail if you didn't pay for it. Yeah. Would you take that money if the judge of came out? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you want to be free, right? Yeah. Well, God says the salvation plan as I hung between heaven and earth, all your sins were upon me. And as I brutally was between heaven and earth, and it says this in Psalms, it gives us a little description of it. You know Psalms, right? Yeah. David in Psalms. Yeah. Psalm says, I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My tongue clings to my jaw. And he says, God, you brought me to the dust of death. Yeah. And the evil congregation have encircled me, and they pierced my heart, my, they pierced my hands and my feet. Yeah. So here God did this all for you, and all you got to do, Trevon, is you got to say, I understand I'm a sinner, yeah. and I understand my works aren't going to get me anywhere because I'm already tainted with sin. Yeah. But what I need to do is just say, God, I'm a sinner, I turn from those sins, 
I want you to come into my life and I call out on the name of the Lord to begin to just take part in my life. Be my Lordship of my yeah. life, Lord. At that time, the gift becomes free to you as God would come and he begins to make himself personal to you. Yeah. So have you ever did that, Trevin? Have you ever did that personal conviction where you, where you admitted you're a sinner and you said, God, it's time for a change in my life. I understand I'm a sinner. Now, I can't do it on my own. God says that. You can't do it on your own. Of course, like, I, I did it, but, like, I did it with, at the wrong time, like, when I was in jail. You know oh, I mean? okay, yeah. I was one Remorse. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? All right. But, but he came through for me, you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. So one day, you know, the thing I like about God is he says, we all are naked and open before the one we got to give an account to one day. In Hebrews 10, it tells that. That it's appointed for man once to die and after that judgment so knowing that my heart my very emotions my personality is going to stand before god he says but what i ask is that you don't lie to me i know life is hard and i don't ask you to that that you're never going to sin again that's not what i'm asking you what i'm asking you to do is trust in me know that i'm god know that you've called on my name and i will come into your life and give you hope you know so, hey, thank you, man. And watch those movies, man. Those are pretty cool movies. Right. And thank you for your time, brother. All right, thank you. All right, take it easy.